Somjingui. President, please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. Somjingui, l'oubliez n'y a pas de Mr. Co-Prosecutor, you may now resume Monsieur your presentation. Monsieur le Co-Procureur, vous avez la parole. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honors, Merci, Council, le Président. Bonjour. and everyone present. Monsieur le Président, Honorable Juge. I'm going to speak about, uh, present documents about S21 and the internal purges of the DK regime. Et les purges I think one document we Dans first want to draw your attention to is one recently admitted E404-2.1. Sur le document E400, c'est uh, en preuve, il s'agit de l'évaluation d'une étude à Chang'e. Dans la préface de cette étude, le préface dit que après le 7 janvier, celui qu'on suit après le 7 janvier, après la libération du 7 janvier 1977, à savoir, au début de l'année 1981, 121 fosses ont été découvertes à Chang'e. 8,985 corps ont été exhumés de 86 fosses. La préface indique que Exhumations where bodies were recovered took place only in 86 pits, fosses, and the preface indicates almost 9,000 bodies, 8,985. Going on to E3 slash 404, which is the study, the evaluation of the Chang'e conservation of victims at Killing Fields Project. The second page in English, it indicates that in the first paragraph, according to the study in 30 months, processed a total of 6,426 cranial skulls, plus 63,113 other skeletal elements. On page, on the next page, there's a table. And on that page, if you look at the table, the number of right humerus bones recovered Et si vous regardez there were 7,706 right humerus bones recovered. Now, in trying to put together from the various pieces of evidence how many people were killed at Chang'e and other sites related to where prisoners were killed from S21 or died at S21, we also have the prisoner list that OCIJ Put together, Nous avons également une liste établie par le document E393.2, qui, as you know, named 15,101 personnes as having been detained at S21. Un nom de personnes détenues à S21, le co-procureur a filing E393-2, and it's in that filing, it's self-explanatory, but we suggest that there are additional lists not considered by OCIJ, and that could add well over a thousand names to the names of those known to have been passed through S21. Des prisonniers de S21 of course, these are based on documents that survived and were recovered about what happened in 1975 to 1979. In evaluating those, I think it's interesting and important to consider uh, this evidence, which comes from the book The Lost Executioner by Dunlap. It's at E3 slash 2817. And in Kamai, the ERN is 0037-0428. In English, it's at page 178. He's talking about a man named Ho. He said, at the market one morning, he saw women selling fried bananas wrapped in paper. 
qu'au marché, un matin, il a vu des it. femmes qui vendaient des frites de banane There had been no paper during the avec un texte manuscrit Now in the semi -derelict city, sur ce papier. Il n'y avait everywhere. pas de papier lors des Khmer Rouges. Alors dans cette ville, Children à moitié il y avait des papiers partout. He picked up one parcel il volait of bananas. Aux à travers les rues. He les recognized enfants avaient commencé à les recueillir. It was il a ramassé une frite de banane. Il a reconnu l'écriture. Il s'agissait d'un aveu d'un ami de Paris. Il a demandé d'où provenait le document. Un petit garçon l'a amené dans les ruelles, à travers les ruelles, jusqu'à Tulsleng. Dans les ruelles, à travers les ruelles, jusqu'à Tulsleng. Some of the documents that do survive talk about the killing of children. In particular, we want to draw your attention to the killing of uh, a couple children whose names survive. Je vais vous donner des On the OCIJ de list, P393.2, number 12623, is a seven-year-old named Trong Yang Phak, who was described as a Vietnamese spy and killed on the 31st of October 1978. Number 12950, is Li Yang Bi. If her photograph could be displayed because that was survived and was recovered. Le deuxième nom, c'est Li Yang Bi. So this 11-year-old boy from the southwest zone entered S21 on the 12th of October 1978. His photograph that's on the screen is from the new collection from DC CAM E394.1. It's at number 610. We can show the other photograph of the... This is a 13-year-old girl. Her name is Vin Tai Nok. She's number 101.30. On the OCIJ list, she was BCG, from Sveirang and entered S21 on the 6th of May, 1978. Her photograph is at E3 slash 8639.171. You'll also find that she and her eight-year-old brother appear on the E3 slash 8463 at 0001 6000 to 6004 the is number 578 on the list of prisoners smashed on the 27th of May, 1978. That's at E3-8463 and the ERN is, uh, I'm going to refer to that document quite a bit, E4-63. The ERN in Khmer is 001 6039-74. I'd like to now read some passages from various historians, journalists, passages, and others who've studied the DK regime et about, and talk about what they have said briefly, about what, what they've said about S21 and purges in general. Starting with Chandler, in his book, Paul Pot, E3-17, at page 123, and the Khmer ERN is 0111-50874. In French, it's 012-42753. In the chapter on purges in DK, 1975 to 1977, Chandler wrote the most extensive documentary source for study of democratic Kampuchea. 
is the archive of 4,000 confessions assembled between 1975 and early 1979 at the regime's interrogation facility at Tourslane. Documents in its voluminous archive suggests that some 13,000 men, women, and children passed through S21 between the end of 1975 and early 1979. All but a handful were questioned, tortured, and put to death. In 1975, only 200 prisoners were registered. In 1976, 1,622 were registered. While in 77, over 6,300 prisoners were brought in. Although the files for 1978 are incomplete, it seems that at least 5,000 prisoners were registered that year. Like to move on to a rather 1970, long passage, um, but I think the events he's talking about are important and relevant. This is from short his book on Pol Pot, E3 slash 9. And I'll be reading the French ERN is 0063-9957. Through the next three pages. And in English, it's 0039659. to four. Then there was those four pages. He's speaking of 1978 and short wrote. The same year, Paul and Nunchia launched the biggest and most murderous purge since they had taken power. Tens of thousands of people were bludgeoned to death in prisons and on execution grounds, accused of having, quote, Vietnamese mines in their bodies, unquote. The same charge that had been hurled at the Hanoi returnees five years earlier. This dichotomy went to the heart of the system Paul had created. It could not exist without terror. Paul had created the system. 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 Paul had created the and his cohorts installed in their place. Short writes, in March 1978, the Western Zone Secretary Chuchet was arrested. He had been the last survivor of the Pratichon group. Then the remaining Hanoi returnees were killed, along with several dozen of their children, who had been held since 1975 at a special camp near Rovieng in Prayavihar. From there, the wave of suspicion rolled over the northwest. Short writes further on, but the worst of the self-inflicted blows the regime suffered that spring occurred in the east, where Paul's attempts to galvanize So Kim's forces had failed to produce the results he had hoped for. By the end of March, he had reached the conclusion that the root of the problem was the Eastern Zone Secretary himself. Pim was in poor health and spent April and the beginning of May in hospital in Phnom Penh. During his absence, the Central Zone military commander, Kepok, who was his deputy on the Highway 7 Front Command, was ordered to undertake a sweeping purge of the Eastern Zone military and civil administration. By April 20, more than 400 Eastern Zone cadres were being held in Tulsling. And Short went on to say that on Pol's instructions, Pol returned to the Highway 7 Front headquarters in Kampong Cham, 
l'époque est rentré and began summoning the commanders and political commissars of the eastern zone divisions and regional brigades to meetings where they were disarmed and detained. More important among them were sent to Toul Slang, the others killed on the spot. Around the middle of May, when Sao Pim returned, Pok summoned him to a meeting also. And then Short explains that Sao Pim first sent a bodyguard to the meeting to see what Pok wanted. Then he sent his nephew, Chuan, to the meeting. Finally, he sent his protege, Sok Kanao, to the meeting. And all of them failed to return. Short writes, at that point, Kim concluded that Pauk was out to destroy him. But he still refused to believe that Paul was responsible. On the 28th, he set out for Phnom Penh, accompanied only by his family and bodyguards, to seek a meeting with Paul to try to set matters straight. When they reached the east bank of the Mekong, opposite the capital, they were attacked by Sun Sen's forces. À la rive est du Mekong, en face de la capitale, ils ont été attaqués par les forces de Sun Et Chat nous dit que cette nuit-là, Kim s'est suicidé par balle. Sa femme et ses enfants étaient arrêtés alors qu'ils préparaient son corps pour l'inhumation selon les rites bouddhistes. Et eux également, ils ont été tués. Elizabeth Becker a aussi écrit beaucoup de choses sur Tool Slang dans son livre E3-20. Becker a parlé de Tool Slang dans son ouvrage E3-20. And in talking about the early years, she writes, and this is at French, URN 00638525, and to the next page, in Khmer, it's at 00232351, and in English, it's on page 266. Becca wrote that in 1976, the people executed were members of the old society, 164 factory workers, 112 people from the population at large, 61 students, 35 professors, 20 doctors and nurses, 49 engineers, 55 bureaucrats of the old regime, 209 soldiers of the old regime, and 47 students and dignitaries from overseas. Of the over 750 executions recorded that year at Tuol Slang, no more than 12 were Communist Party members. It was the year when the Bopanas of Cambodia were tortured and murdered. She said the year 1977 was a turning point. Following the change in party directives, the number of recorded executions of party officials jumped. Suivant le changement dans les directives du parti, un certain nombre d'exécutions des cadres du parti ont augmenté. And then Becker on the next page says, in 1976, some 2,000 prisoners were brought to the prison complex. Deux mille prisonniers ont été emmenés dans le complexe de la prison. Et en 1977, plus de six mille ont été détenus. En 1978, environ 12 000 personnes ont été amenées à la prison. Et les deux autres ouvrages qui ont été donnés par les équipes de défense ont été donnés par les équipes de défense. Le premier ouvrage, c'est E3-17-57. Et c'est 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 le premier ouvrage, c'est E3-17-57. Democratic Kampuchea, then, as it developed after 1976, with policies which alienated nearly all classes, was not just the result of communism, but of the actions of one faction opposed by most party veterans and experienced cadres in support of the Pol Pot faction at the center was the regional administration of the Southwest, composed of men who were neither veterans of the old party nor intellectuals. And they supplied the muscle without which the purges could not have taken place. To accommodate the victims of the purges who were important enough to merit 
central government attention, hébergé des victimes des purges, qui est suffisamment important pour bénéficier de l'attention du gouvernement central, un nouveau centre de détention et d'interrogatoire conventionnellement connu sous le nom de Tout Sling a été créé. Et écrit à la page suivante, à la même page, sur la même page. Il ne faut aucun doute que Tout Sling était effectivement une prison et que la torture était systématiquement utilisée. Tandis que la taille et l'emplacement du site prouvent que ce ne pouvait être qu'un organe créé par la direction du gouvernement central. To Vietnamese infiltrators, as DK leaders have claimed, in a book called "Eyes of the Pineapple," 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 in a book called "Eyes The author writes, the Pol Pot regime became more and more dependent on China, especially for its military support. It is difficult to imagine that the Pol Pot regime was unaware of the catastrophic collision course the country was on. Still, its leaders were too proud. As long as they remained convinced of the correctness of their policies, and only capable of blaming all mistakes and excesses on traitors, they would never be able to achieve a broad united front against Vietnam. The spiral of power curved and twisted around the United States and Vietnam. The spiral of power curved and twisted around the United States and Vietnam. The spiral of power curved and twisted around the United States and Vietnam. The spiral of power curved and twisted around the United States and Vietnam. The spiral of power curved and twisted around the United States and Vietnam. The spiral of power curved and twisted around the United States and Vietnam. The spiral of power curved and twisted around the United States and Vietnam. The spiral of power curved and twisted around the United States and Vietnam. The spiral of power curved and twisted around the United States and Vietnam. The spiral of power curved and twisted around the United States and Vietnam. The more traitors they saw, the more people turned against them. The more they were inspired to trust even fewer people. In the next section, he entitles "Paranoia Thet Terror Gets Out of Hand." Plus ils voyaient de traîtres, he writes, "The tool slang intake in the first five months of 1978 was 5,765 persons." Nearly the same as for all of 77. Even high-ranking CPK members were being eliminated, including zone secretaries not considered 100% loyal to Paul Pot. Presque le même chiffre que pour toute l'année 77. I'd also like to play a brief clip from one of the victims of Tool Slang. The CPK, pardon, a été éliminé après le secrétaire de zone qui n'était pas considéré comme étant loyal à Pol Pot à 100%. Je vais également faire projeter une vidéo de Van Nath qui a été interrogé par Fieris, document E3 barre 536 R à partir de 10 minutes 50 secondes. Est-ce qu'on peut projeter cette vidéo Est-ce qu'elle peut être traduite, interprétée President, yes. The president, oui. D'accord, merci. Je me serai. Your Honor, could it be asked? Please, it be played with sound. Honorable judge, is it possible to project the video with the sound? We're not getting any, I believe. Because we're not hearing anything. President. The president. AV unit is instructed to play the video with sound. The regime wants to project the video with the sound. If the unit is not ready, I could go on and come back to this. Je peux avancer et revenir sur cet élément si la régie n'est pas prête. 
President, you may Le resume président. your presentation first before the Vous video is played. Poursuivre votre présentation en attendant Thank you. que la régie projette so, la vidéo. Um, L'accusation, merci. There are several documents and particularly statements from Nunchea that show that while people were arrested and killed on the basis of confessions, the leadership didn't believe the confessions. Si les gens étaient arrêtés et exécutés sur la base des aveux, les dirigeants like ne croyaient pas en ces aveux. Uh, Je vais revenir à la book, vidéo juste course, après. Uh, behind the killing fields, E3 slash 4202. Bar 4202, et en français, 0084-8358. Et en français, 0074-8357. Nunchia a dit que lorsqu'il lisait les confessions, il a trouvé que les crimes que certains des prisonniers étaient accusés étaient bénignes. Il a trouvé que les crimes dont, dont, on, dont on accusait les prisonniers étaient bien. Il a dit que certains n'étaient coupables de rien. Mais qu'ils avaient permission. marché quelque part, ils avaient porté quelque chose, ou mangé quelque chose sans permission, ou ils avaient été arrêtés juste parce qu'un autre prisonnier les avait they accusés d'une telle faute sans preuve. They were painfully ils avaient normalement tortured. Après avoir été gravement battu ou gravement torturé, a dit Nunchea. Est-ce que la régie est prête à passer la vidéo de Van Nat? President, uh, uh, please uh, show the video with sound Le in relation to Van Nat. Veuillez faire passer la vidéo de Van Nat avec le son. Killed, which person should be kept alive? On the list, he circled my name Sur la liste, hein? and wrote keep for use next to it. Il y avait une the rest he marked to be destroyed. Quelle personne devait être tuée et quelle personne devait être maintenue en vie. Sur la liste, il a encerclé mon nom et a dit il a gardé vos services. That's how I survived. Le reste. Pour le reste, il marquait à détruire. C'est qu'un siège sur la vécu. Lorsque j'ai vu la liste après ma libération, j'ai été choqué, car j'ai pu survivre à cause d'une seule phrase, grâce à une seule phrase, à garder pour service. Sinon, ma vie se serait arrêtée là. Son service consistait à peindre des images de propagande de Pol Pot, frère numéro un. Son art a sauvé sa vie. En tant que prisonnier, Van Nat vivait l'horreur au quotidien. Lorsqu'il a été libéré, il a capturé sur toile les souvenirs du traitement de ses camarades détenus. Il a été porté comme un animal. Je l'ai entendu parler alors qu'on le portait. Il n'a pas crié, mais il n'a pas parlé comme un être humain. He was barely alive. Il était à peine en vie. He lost his mind. Il a perdu he ses esprits. Il n'était pas en état de connaître sa douleur. Il y avait entre 30 et 50 prisonniers dans up, ma salle. Si nous voulions nous asseoir, il fallait demander la permission des gardiens. Sinon, on devait rester couché comme cela. Going back to the confessions this torture produced. Aux aveux qui étaient le fruit de la torture. Again, Nunche is quoted in the Tetsambat book E3 slash 4202. The book the, at Kamai 00858359. And to the next page. In French at 00849449. 4, 9, and in English at 00757537. The authors write that in another confession, Democratic Kampuchea's ambassador to the UN, Chun Prasit, Chun Prasit du Cadet was Nations accused Unis, of being a traitor. Nunchea said he Nunchea knew it wasn't true, and he kept the document to himself, hiding it from pour lui, Paul, le Pot. À Pol Pot. Quote, I thought they just faked these accusations, unquote, Nunchea said, quote, but I did not say that out loud. 
ouvrez les guillemets, mais je ne l'ai pas dit tout haut. The book also uh, relates another Ce livre very important incident, un autre incident très important, which was also discussed dont il a aussi by Doik in his testimony, dans le témoignage in case Doik dans le dossier And this is at Kamai 00858306 to the next page. In French, at 00849413. And in English, at 00757520. The book states, quote, Now it reaches a top leader who betrayed Ankar, unquote, Doik told Nunchea. What do you mean, he asked Doik, Doik, head of the notorious S21 prison. A confession points to Bang Hem, Doik said, using Doik, the alias, the Q Sampan. The author's right. Don't say careless things, Nunchea said angrily. Don't report Nunchea this again colère, and don't say it again. I don't prudent, believe people's confessions that cela, they blame on Q Sampan. It was very Sampan. dangerous, Nunchea now says, of Doik's report on Q Sampan. Quote, I suspected Doik of betrayal at that time. But I did not say anything because Vietnamese troops were attacking us along the border. And we were busy trying to find a way to prevent an invasion. We did not know what Doik was doing or whether he was good or bad. Doik was not happy with me because I always blamed him for making mistakes. Doik remained silent and never mentioned Q Sampan to Nunchea again. And then it quotes Nunchea saying, I felt that if they now accuse Q Sampan, that means later they would accuse all the people. And I would be one of those people. Unquote. Your Honours, according to the Tetsambat book, even Pol Pot did not believe there was, the confessions were valid. On page 119 in English, in Khmer, Khmer 00858362. And in French, en français, at 00849450, and on to the next page, page suivante, they discuss an interview with a division commander, Mon Nim, who was under, uh, served under Sun Sen and Pol Pot. And he talks about a uh, meeting where he said, Pol Pot went on to say, that some key people accused of being part of the CIA or KGB were actually innocent and only confessed because they were tortured. Quote, Paul Pot is saying, some confessed to being part of the CIA before they were born. Evidence of the centers, of the leadership's knowledge and clear approval of the arrests and killings Il est prouvé que les is contained in documents such as E3 slash 1870, which is a one-page telegram. telegram page. And in that, it's a note from Pon to the agricultural Pong minister, Che Soon. It says, quote, your de detention was decided on by the standing par committee of the party center parti. and not by some other level or part of the party. party. The standing committee of the party center. On parle donc ici du E3 slash 181 e is a telegram, again one page, page, telegram 11 from Sun Sen to respected Sun brother, grand uncle and grand uncle Noon and Arka, stated the 14th of April 1978. And I direct your attention to point five on that telegram, which says, Comrade Tal, Le Division 290 Tal, Secretary, division captured two. UN heads, ages 17 and 27, they were sent to S21. So here's a telegram from a reporting on the sending of people to S21. 
We think it's very important for your honors to consider the prior statements of the two accused in this case, their explanations for the purges in S-21. So I'd ask now another clip be played. And this is from um, Facing Genocide. And that's E3. For some reason in my notes, I don't have the E3 number, but I'll come back and give that to you later. It's E3. 109-2.3R. If we could play again with sound, clip 2. J'aimerais qu'on passe l'extrait 2 avec le son. So, South Tour, yeah. Le Président, service technique, veuillez faire passer cet extrait vidéo avec le son. People died uh, during the Khmer Rouge. I cannot tell you the exact figure. I'm sure many. But I don't think that there were as many as two million. That's a bit exaggerated. So what was your responsibility for what happened? My responsibility? I had no power. Maybe. But even when talking about responsibility, I cannot be accused of anything because I didn't know anything. I really did not know anything. Why didn't I know anything? Why don't you try to find out? Maybe you can blame me for that. But for me, if I don't, didn't want to try to know, it was because I respected the party line. But do you feel deceived by Pol Pot because he didn't let you know? No. No. Because afterwards, however, I felt that they were right in a way. What Pol Pot did had certain reasons behind it. And what about S21? I didn't know about S21. I completely didn't know about its, its existence. So I cannot attribute that to Pol Pot because I didn't know anything about it. Your Honours, in relation to Q Sampan's claim of ignorance of what was going on at S21 in Democratic Camp Chia, we think we direct your attention to E393.2, which is a list of persons sent to S21. And if you look at that list, that's the OCIJ list, there's 97 individuals who it's recorded were from the state warehouse. And there were 308 individuals from the Commerce Ministry, both aspects of the regime that were under the direction of Q. Sampan and his role, and his economic role for the regime. Stephen Hedder has written in E3 slash 3169 about Q. Sampan's involvement in Khmer. The ERN is 00711393 and on to the next page in French 00722080 and in English 00027660. Hedder wrote, Q. Sampan's involvement in the general purge was bureaucratically natural because his promotion to the party body responsible for keeping track of policy implementation coincided with Pol Pot's decision that the CPK's most important task was not the economic reconstruction of democratic Kampuchea, but the ferreting out of alleged enemy agents who were supposedly sabotaging the revolution. We can then play the next clip back to the same interview with Q. Sampan. Clip three, please. Extra numéro 3. 
Som trei satu, cap. Le président. Eh bien, une personne après. Sur les cinq minutes, veuillez faire passer ce trait. Comme chef d'État, quand est-ce que vous savez réaliser le magnitude des massacres Quand when la voix je rentrais de first of all je rentrais de when Pailin. i was coming back from Pailin. Ah, je rentrais à Pailin i was coming back to Pailin. this was ans, at the end of 1998 déjà j'entendais and i already was he parler hearing people talking about massacres mais but uh, pour connaître with vraiment regard le s21 to s21 il fallait que je voyais It was necessary for me to see un film de a film, a film made by Riti Pan. Seulement. That's all. Quelle, quelle est votre première réaction What was your first reaction when you saw and understood all of that surprise. suffering? Ma première My first réaction, réaction la was surprise. Quand vous avez rendu compte qu'on qu a tué des enfants en masse, vous étiez pas horrifié. J'étais surpris quand même. Pourquoi Après la victoire, 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 pourquoi Après la où c'est que vous voyez que Pol Pot tuait les enfants Où c'est que vous avez vu Pol Pot torturer les enfants Dites-moi donc. Où c'est que vous avez vu Pol Pot torturer les enfants Où c'est que vous avez vu Pol Pot torturer les enfants Où c'est que vous avez vu Pol Pot torturer les enfants Où c'est que vous avez vu Pol Pot torturer les enfants Où c'est que vous avez vu Pol Pot torturer les enfants Où c'est que vous avez vu Pol Pot torturer les enfants Où c'est que vous avez vu Pol Pot torturer les enfants Où c'est que vous avez vu Pol Pot torturer les enfants Où c'est que vous avez vu Pol Pot torturer les enfants Où c'est que vous avez vu Pol Pot torturer les enfants Où c'est que vous avez vu Pol Pot torturer les enfants Où c'est que vous avez vu Pol Pot torturer les enfants Où c'est que vous avez vu Pol Pot torturer les enfants Où c'est que vous avez vu Pol Pot torturer les enfants Où c'est que vous avez vu Pol Pot torturer les enfants Où c'est que vous avez vu Pol Pot torturer les enfants Où c'est que vous avez vu Pol Pot torturer les enfants Où c'est que vous avez vu Pol Pot torturer les enfants Où c'est que vous avez vu Pol Pot torturer les enfants Où c'est que vous avez vu Pol Pot torturer les enfants Où c'est que vous avez vu Pol Pot torturer les enfants Où c'est que vous avez vu Pol Pot torturer les E3 at 00780955 and the next page in French at 00790532 to the next page and in English at 00789051 also to the next page. Q Sampan said what Pol Pot was monitoring led him to see the hand of Vietnam reaching in and stirring up the breakup within the Campuchian party. Pol Pot did not just arrest cadres randomly. These were matters that had to be investigated, monitored, and seen clearly. He saw that, and he made arrests based on his follow-up. That led to the arrests of two cadres, Chakri and Chuk. So, again, another uh, document I'd like to draw your attention to, again, showing Q Sampan speaking in detail about the reasons why Pol Pot and the process that was made in decisions to make arrests. This is E3 slash 4032. In Kamai, it's 00784642. In French, 00818737. And English, 00798304. Referring to Pol Pot, Q Sampan said he paid attention to situations and cadres, particularly key cadres. He often invited them to have chit chats. Those individuals who came for chit chats were not aware of Pol Pot's real intent. Another E3 slash 203. Q Sampan's 1980 interview with Steve Hedder at Kamai 00385409, French 00434232, and in English 00424013. Q. Sampan told Hedder, quote, there were innocent people whose lives were affected. I would like to stress that they were affected by UN agents, by Khmer people who were UN undercover agents in our authority lines.
Those people held important positions. Some of them were in charge of major zones and they distorted the line. This was an attack on us from the inside out. It was an attempt to attack us from the inside out. And then Q. Sampan said, nevertheless, we fought constantly against these defeats and defeated them. Until 1977-78, we managed to deal with those people completely and brought order back to the country. Continuing on to the next page in all languages, Heder asked, in 1975, what percentage of them were in the senior ranks of the party, in the central committee, or in the standing committee? And Q. Sampan answered there were many, less than half in the central committee, but nearly half in the standing committee. As your honors know, Q. Sampan was previously referred to as one of the three ghosts along with Hu Yuen and Hu Nim. It's interesting to see the various inconsistent answers that Q. Sampan has given about the arrest and killing of Hu Nim. In the interview, in an interview with um, OCIJ, this is E3 slash 210, on 14 December of 2007. In Khmer, the ERN is 00156689. In French, 00156694. And in English, 00156948. The investigating judge asked Q. Sampan, this morning you indicated that the arrest of Hu Nim and Hu Yuan were evidence that it was impossible to express any disagreement. So you knew about the arrests and executions. And then Q. Sampan, in his answer, he said, I brought up the examples of Hu Nim and Hu Yun, but I only learned of the information about the arrests of those two people after 1979. But let's look at what he told Stephen Hedder. This is E3 slash 3169. And in Khmer, the ERN is 00 711. 413, and on to the next page. In French, 00156637. Next page also. And in English, it's at quadruple zero, 2771. In a rather long question, Stephen Heder asked Kisampan, who Yuan and who Nim were friends of yours? And I guess you also knew many of the leading party cadre who were killed because they were accused of being CIA agents or KGB agents or Vietnamese agents. What about all those zone and sector secretaries and deputy secretaries and members and all those brigade secretaries and deputy secretaries and members? Heder asked him, as far as you know, there weren't any cases where people, where somebody innocent was accused? And Q. Sampan answered no. Question, not a single one? Answer, no, none. Question, so everybody who was executed was in fact a traitor? Q. Sampan, yes, as far as I can grasp. Question, and no one was wrongly accused? And he answered, as I said, there was one old man in the West who was accused of being a traitor but was in fact loyal. And we would submit to you in our final argument that that person was Chuchet's deputy. I'll save that argument for later. Your Honor, going back to the list that the co-investigating ju co judges have produced of those whose names exist on surviving documents from S21 as having been imprisoned in that institution, we draw your attention that 
parvenus. The list includes, Et by our count, 67 prisoners who were 14 or younger. Qui 14 ans ou moins. Of course, it's important to keep in mind pas that the testimony of Doik and I believe his name is Sostai, de who Doik kept the list, Sostai that the names of children who accompanied parents were generally not recorded. But in the list where names are recorded, we kept, on the OCIJ list, we count 67 prisoners under 14. We draw your attention to three 10-year-olds. These are OCIJ numbers 5307, 12-124, 12509. There were four eight-year-olds. Numbers 1565, 10129, 12697, and 14825. There were even four seven-year-olds. Number 1566, 12623. 12660-14823. And the very youngest prisoner on the list is a six-year-old girl named Nin, who was identified as the daughter of brother number 10, believe Bonvet, who entered S21 on 18 December 78. And she appears at number 14923. In that same interview that I've shown previous clips about, Q Sampan was asked about children at S21. And I'd like to ask that clip four be played now with sound, please. Le président, service technique, veuillez faire passer l'extra en question avec le son. The youngest at S21, Là, only 10 years old. Je connaissais pas les raisons, mais quelques well, jeunes. I don't know the reasons for that, but ce n'est pas une raison pour effacer, buffer. It's not a reason to erase an entire, delete an entire region of history. But what can make a 10-year-old child want to kill other children? I didn't know the reason. Indeed, we need to dig into this and try to find the answer. That's why I said there are still a lot of things that need to be investigated. You must understand that without the Khmer Rouge, without the Khmer Rouge, dès les années d'après le coup d'état de 1970, le Cambodge serait déjà entre les mains des communistes vietnamiens. S'il vous plaît, don't forget that. Et qu'est-ce que cela veut dire? What does it mean to you to be to have fallen into the hands of the Vietnamese? What does it mean to us, the Cambodians? That's what I'm saying to you. What would that have meant? That would have meant that not much of time would have been needed for all of the current Cambodia to have become part Et of the Kampuchea de Kampuchea de de Kampuchea de Kampuchea. And how many, the millions of Cambodians, do you know how the Cambodians, the Cambodians live? The Cambodians the Cambodians the Cambodians Those who the, are actuellement. now living in the Kampuchea Krom in the south of Vietnam, Je vous dis, at this time, I will tell you, an immense S21. it's a huge S21. Pas? Isn't that right? Alors, comparé à ce petit so, S21, compared to the small S21 here, le, S21 to try to make people forget about the giant S21 over there.
And again, I remind you, the OCIJ has recorded the names of 15,101 individuals at this tiny S21 over here, as Q Sun Khan And as an E3 slash 210, in his interview with OCIJ, in Kamai at 0015-66690, in French at 00156695, and in English at 00156948. Uh, Q. Pan told the investigating judges when he's asked about what he knew of arrests before 1979. He said, I observed that some members of the, he said he didn't know of any of the arrests. The question was, did, do you still maintain that you did not learn of any arrests before 1979? Hewson Pan answered, not any. I observed that some members of the Central Committee disappeared one after another. And then if you look at E3-18, which is a book authored by Q. Sampan himself, recent history at French 00595513, Kamai 00103891, and English 00103794. Q. Sampan wrote, near the middle of 1978, I did hear of massive arrests and atrocities committed in Praia Vihir province. It was my wife who in tears told me of the atrocities committed against her brothers, her relatives, and many other innocent victims. And in, in regards to Q. Sampan's claims of not knowing anything, not even hearing of S21, or knowing of any arrests, we direct your attention to one small point in the book Behind the Killing Fields, E3-4202, at page 95, in Khmer at 00858326, and in French at 00849426, where Nun Chi explained that he and Paul Pot always ate their meals together and Q. Sampan often ate with them. And we'd also draw your attention to E3 slash 1550. This is a document authored by Hunim himself, the man we were talking about earlier, one of the three ghosts. It's dated the 18th of May, 1977, after his arrest and incarceration at S21. And Kamai, the ERN is quadruple zero, eight, nine, two, three. In English, double zero, seven, six, six, nine, zero, two. And in English, zero, zero, seven, five, nine, six, nine, one. En français, zero, zero, seven, five, nine, six, nine, one. So, Monsieur, so, Monsieur, le Président. I'm not going to go into the content. I'm only going to read to whom his message was addressed. So it's not the content, but to whom he addressed his message. So in the in this document, Hugh Nim wrote, Dear Communist Party of Kampuchea, whom I respect more than my life, dear Bang Paul, Bang Nguyen, Bang Van, Bang Vorn, Comrade Q, and Comrade Hem. So here is a man who's been incarcerated in S21, and he understands what that means, and he addresses his plea to the leadership. Comrade Hem is Q. Sampan, those that he hopes can save him. Uh, this might be an appropriate time for me to break, since I'm going to go and talk about Nunchea. If this is the time. Do you want me to go on and discuss Nunchea, or should we break for lunch now? Vous voulez que je continue pour parler de Nunchea ou bien vous voulez que je m'interrompe
Le président, c'est le moment de la pause. La, la chambre va observer la pause pour reprendre le débat à 13h30 cet après-midi. L'agent de sécurité veuille conduire plus son pont dans la salle d'attente du sous-sol et veuille le ramener cet après-midi avant 13h30 pour la reprise de l'audience. L'audience est suspendue.